friends, this video on visualizing solid shapes part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when you look at what happens when you see the shadow of three dimensional object, that is also very very interesting. Now here on the screen you see three objects. One is a sphere. So the first one is a sphere. The second one is a cube and the third one is a cone and we all know that all of these sphere, cube and cone, they are all three dimensional shapes. But when you look at their shadows, what are they like? So the shadow of a sphere is a circle here. The shadow of the cube is a square. The shadow of the cone again is a circle. So what happens? What's happening? So even though the object is three dimensional, but the shadow is two dimensional. Why is it so? That's because what? Okay, before that, tell me why? How is a shadow formed, or why is a shadow formed? So a shadow is formed only when light is not allowed to enter that particular region. Now what happens is, let's say that light is coming from this side. So what happens? The light gets blocked only by this portion of the sphere. Right? So this portion of the sphere blocks light and as a result only for this circular region light is not able to enter. So you get a two dimensional circular shadow. Similarly in this case this particular face of the cube if, if light is coming from top this particular face doesn't allow light to pass through and as a result you get it in the shape of a square. And the same is true for the cone as well. Right? Now it is not necessary that Every time you look at in place a cone, you will get the shadow as a circle. Now, what will be the shadow that actually depends on the orientation of the cone and the direction from where the light is coming. So from where the source of light is located and how the cone is being placed. So depending on these two factors, the shape of the shadow would depend. So let us look at an example of the shadow of a cone. So if you place a cone on a table and let's say that the light is coming from the front. So this is how the shadow would look like. So in this case, the shadow of the cone is not circular because this time the light is coming somewhere from this directions, like from the front kind of. So in this case, what's happening? The shape of the shadow is triangular. So the shadow of a 3D cone is a two-dimensional triangle whereas in the previous slide we saw that had light been coming from the top in that case the shadow would have been circular that's because the light is coming from the top so this circular region is not allowing the light to pass through so you would get a circular shadow. So depending upon from where the light is coming you would get a shadow. Shadow of a sphere. So here if you see this, the head of the pin is a sphere and its shadow is circle. So again, three dimensional sphere has a two dimensional circle as shadow. At the same here, it holds true for a ball which is placed on a table. So if light is coming from this direction, what do we see? We see that we get a circle as a shadow. Shadow of a cylinder. Now here this bottle is not exactly cylindrical in shape but yes at least the lower part of the bottle is cylindrical in shape and when you look at its shadow so you see roughly this is how the shadow looks like which is more or less like a rectangle so instead of the cylinder thing you see a rectangle because this is the portion which blocks light. So somewhat like this. So when you look at the shadow of a three dimensional cylinder, you see that you get a two dimensional rectangle or sometimes you can also get a triangle, uh, get a circle. For example, in this case, you see, this is a cylinder and we know a cylinder has two circular uh, surfaces and there is a rectangular surface. And in fact, a rectangle and two circles form the net for the cylinder. Now, if light is coming from this direction, so in that case, this would be the shadow of the cylinder. But if light is coming from this direction, in that case, the circle would be the shadow of the cylinder. So therefore, it depends from which direction light is falling on that three-dimensional object. Shadow of a 3D cylinder could be a 2D square or rectangle or a circle. Now, when would be when would the shadow be a square and when would it be rectangle? Depending upon the length of the cylinder. Like if the cylinder is very long, in that case, definitely the shadow would be a rectangle. For example, if you have a cylinder like this, so definitely the shadow would be a rectangle. But if you have a cylinder like this, 
So in that case, the shadow could be a square. So depending upon the length of the cylinder, you might get a square or rectangle as a shadow. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.